uh, very uh, warm greetings to all the jury members and i'm obliged to iesr platform for providing me this opportunity i am today presenting a, a case report uh, which i have titled as homicide disguised as suicide uh, moving on to introduction uh, we had a history uh, that uh, we received a female body of around 26 years of age in our mortuary and uh, and the body was confiscated by police uh, on the complaint of the diseased uh, diseased brother and uh, the brother uh, uh, we take the history from uh, the brother who gave us the history that uh, he was informed that uh, from he was informed from the neighbors of his sisters that uh, uh, something terrible has happened in the family so he rushed to the family soon after reaching the home of his, uh, of uh, his sister's home he found out that the body was already taken for cremation he got suspicious at that point of time and uh, luckily he saw a police van patrolling nearby which to which he ran the police van rushed to the cremation site where the deceased body was thrown into the river seeing the police and they have uh, fled, uh, fled from the uh, scene the police uh, eventually retrieved that body this was the history which we got in toto now after receiving the body we started with the external appearance examination which was uh, meticulously noted down and examined uh, which i have uh, listed down below the dead body of the female was um, such uh, wearing such and such, such clothes and such and such uh, articles were on her body we meticulously examined uh, all the articles and clothes as well to match with the injuries on the body and uh, we found one thing that the whole body and every clothes were wet and smeared with sand particles and uh, after careful examination we returned uh, those articles in a sealed bag to the chokidar on duty uh, since this is not that, that much relevant to the case i will move to move to the next slide uh, on general examination we found that uh, the body had an average build rigor mortis was present all over the body abdomen was slightly distended post mortem hypostasis hypostasis pr uh, was present on the back except on the pressure uh, areas and was fixed both eyes were closed but uh, after uh, seeing the cornea we found out that it was transparent to hazy and nails were slightly cyanosed <clears throat> froth was coming out of the nostrils and sand particles present uh, over the body and clothes at places uh, sir so after general examination we moved to the um, exam the police was, the main doubt of the police uh, department was that uh, sir we are we are seeing like a mark is it suicide or homicide so first we examined the ligature mark uh, and i have shown it in uh, three pictures over here uh, so uh, there uh, there is a uh, there was a, the post mortem the ligature which we uh, saw was post mortem in nature uh, its dimensions were 1 to 2 cm in width present in upper part of the neck uh, uh, starting above the thyroid cartilage at front of the neck going obliquely upwards and backwards towards the back of the neck on the both sides high up in the uh, high up in the back of the neck and uh, discontinuous for 4 cm at the nape of the neck on the right side the epidermis uh, uh, at the mark is peeled off uh, at some places and easily uh, was peeling off while washing it the base of the mark beneath the peel uh, of beneath the peel of epidermis was white and this and this uh, peeling easily peeling off and not parchment like appearance no uh, uh, no uh, sign of uh, Um, but the pale uh, the paleness of the tissue uh, below the mark uh, gave us an impression that this ligature mark is not actually anti mortem it was somewhat post mortem in nature uh, and uh, uh, the suspicion was raised at this point of time please move to the next slide so then after uh, going down the body we found on her right toe there was a deep electric bond mark which was almost cratering sir and uh, it was a 4 into 2 cm it, it was bone deep over the do uh, dorsum of the right greater toe medially involving almost whole length of the tip and also a medial part of the nail exposing the interphalangeal joint with slight dislocation of the joint sir this suggested that uh, an electric uh, wire was uh, or source of current was kept at that point for a considerable amount of time and that also on dorsal surface uh, Uh, when, in the normal scenario we see that whenever electrocution occurs on the dorsal part of our body the normal muscle uh, flexure leads the uh, body part to get away from that current source but here it, it was suggested that the body was immobile while this electrocution was done it was suggestive of this fact next slide 
so on internal examination we found 4 into 2 cm area of contusion of left uh, uh, parietal skull posterior part parallel to the sagittal suture and midway between the sagittal suture and left parietal eminence the um, important uh, another important uh, most important finding which we found in internal examination was that mesentery so was is con was contused at an uh, um, a big area of contused mesentery was seen which was 13 cm to 6 cm adjacent to the first part of the duodenum uterus along with the surrounding pelvic wall was also contused and urinary even the urinary bladder was contused sir. and there is a 7 cm into 1 cm and into 2.5 cm contused laceration of liver in the lower part of the junction of the right and left lobes involving the surface of both lobes so and uh, along with this contusion the abdominal cavity was filled with blood and blood clots which we eventually took out and measured into the measuring flask and it nearly came uh, around 1750 ml sir yes. sir in this picture i have uh, tried to capture uh, the mesenteric contusion as well as the laceration which we found in the junction of left and right lobe of the liver so this picture shows a large area of contusion of mes contused mesentery the lacerate the lacerated uh, liver we can see on the lower portion of the picture sir and the the, uh, the rupture in the liver has led to the massive bleeding in the abdominal cavity which we discussed earlier so in uh, while giving the opinion considering all the factors which we have seen and discussed in our department sir we gave that the ligature mark noted above is post mortem in nature and rest of the injuries were anti mortem in nature the electric burn is caused by electric current and other anti mortem injuries by hard and blunt substances Uh, death is due to a combined effect of uh, uh, ventricular fibrillation due to electrocution and hemorrhagic shock as a result of above noted anti mortem injuries however visra was preserved and uh, was sent uh, to uh, francis uh, fsl for uh, for the toxicological and poison uh, analysis and the time elapsed to, based on the uh, finding of rigor mortis and uh, opacity of the cornea we gave it uh, 12 plus minus 6 hours uh, from the time of post mortem in discussion part we will like to point out sir the uh, that these findings and history taking where uh, we were able to reach to a uh, opinion which was quite conclusive the cyanosis were very slight suggesting of uh, suggesting not complete stoppage of circulation at the time of hanging but almost stoppage the primary cause being the massive internal bleeding and ventricular fibrillation due to electrocution led to her death uh, followed by post mortem hanging and uh, as suggested by the absence of sign of struggle so the, uh, regarding this we can say that uh, she was uh, primarily hit and uh, electrocuted then after which she was hanged and which gave us the impression of uh, suicidal hanging next please so in, in conclusion we can say that uh, the history taking helped us uh, we took history from police as well as the patient party so visra uh, considered important uh, for toxicological analysis were preserved and sent to fsl for, uh, with proper sealing uh, sir i would like to say that devil lies in detail uh, what it seems initially might not be the reality so we should always be prepared for it and this kind of cases uh, not only makes forensic medicine crucial in delivery of justice but also keeps uh, we as a professional on our toes thank you very much